Welcome to support video for workload automation video series. I'm Jin Poon and it's here to demonstrate how to clean up or initialize the Contram agent and restart without any history. This is the KA21996 which will explain the step that will be demonstrated in this video. The step involves are as follow. 1. Hold all the jobs for the Contrams agent on the Contram Enterprise Manager WLAGUI. This is to ensure that there is no executing jobs on the Contrams agent. 2. Stop the Contrams agent and make sure there is no running process. 3. Kill the Contrams agent processes if they are still found running. 4. Remove all the files from the following directory. Backup. Daily lock, locks, on step, output or sysout, PID, prod ID, prod lock, status, temp. It is very important that we do not delete the new day file in the temp directory. And lastly, we will restart the contrams agent. Let's start the demonstration by running a job that will sleep for 30 seconds from the monitoring domain to show the control M agent's running process. This job will be submitted to the agent for execution. Next, launch the Windows Task Manager so as to verify the four Contrams agent processes running. P underscore CTM AM. Next, P underscore CTM ATW. Third, P underscore CTM AT. And lastly, we have P underscore CTM AG. Now, we will proceed with the step one to put all the jobs running on this Contrams agent on hold using the WLA GUI. Next, stop the Contrams agent services in the Windows Services Console. Step 3. Ensures that there is no Contrams agent processes running using the Window Task Manager, if found, to end the running processes. This slide shows the Contrams agent processes running on a Unix machine, which are similar to those running on the Windows platform. Step 4. Opens the Windows File Explorer, then navigates to the Contrams Agents directory to remove all the files from the following directories. Backup. Daily Lock. Locks. On step, output, PID, proc ID, proc lock, status, sit out, tem. Please do note that we do not delete the new day files in this temp directory. After deleting the files from the mentioned Contrams Agents directory, start the Contrams Agent services from the Windows Service Console. Next, verify that the Contrams Agent processes is running using the Windows Task Manager. Now, launch the Contram Configurations Manager to ensure that the Contrams agent is available. Lastly, we will rerun the Contram jobs from the WLA GUI and make sure that the job will complete successfully. Now, 
That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you.